Okay, so what I am doing is I'm going through and ordering Snapchat Geo filters for MoMA for the entire, I want to do it for the entire 90 days. We've done it for the first three weeks and now I'm continuing and it's actually really good that I didn't go ahead and just book all 90 because we've updated our logo and we have a dope new logo. Thank you to Eric Brown for his creative shout out. So yeah, basically uh, I'm just going through and I'm selecting one day at a time, which means that I have to order 90 different times. But the advantage is Snapchat geo filters are all priced based on square footage and then the amount of time that you let them run. So it only makes sense for us to run them while the museum is open so people can see it. So in each case, I'm drawing a little geo fence around MoMA and it's surprisingly very affordable. So the cool thing is with MoMA is it's roughly 50, 55,000 square feet, but it's seven floors. And with Snapchat geo filters, you only have to pay for the square footage, the footprint once. So although we're paying for the ground level, which is 55,000 square feet, it's seven floors high. So you do the math, it's like 350, almost 400,000 square feet total. Uh, and so we're getting all that bonus. So then I'll set this for 10 a.m. when MoMA opens, closing at 5 p.m. when MoMA closes, and so we're paying 9.67 for one day, about 10 bucks for the whole day to have our custom geo filter, which is awesome. So again, pain in the ass to do it individually, totally worth it because it saves a lot of money. And what's interesting is we can look back and let's look like the 21st, this was yesterday. So the filter got used yesterday 45 times by 45 Snapchat users, which I think is great. That goes out to all of their followers on the story. It also got viewed 1,500 times, and that's people swiping through, looking at the geo filters, deciding which one to use. So, you know, on one hand, you could look at it to be like, well, 1,500 people saw it, and only 50 people, 45 people used it. I don't know what these numbers are supposed to be, but personally, I will always go through all the filters and, and then I'll pick one, so, or pick none. So I think that it's great because 15 people hunt, 15 people, bleh, 1500 people saw the filter, 50 people used it, plus all the people that follow those 50 people potentially saw the filter. So it's, it's pretty good exposure for 10 bucks, getting people that are A, in MoMA, so it's clearly a qualified audience, and then B, people that are down with Snapchat and geo filters, meaning that they're kind of tech forward, and I mean, that's the future. So I think this is probably the best marketing dollars that we can spend throughout this whole project is doing this filter every single day. So today was, as always, an awesome day. Uh, we started out in the morning, we did all the Snapchat stuff, which you saw, spent a lot of the afternoon painting, did a few new paintings, uh, one for my friend Shira for her What's Trending office. Uh, in the evening, afternoon and evening, we went to this event um, over in the South Bay, South San Francisco area, and we're planning on, on filming it. It was just a little mixer event that my friend was throwing. However, we forgot this little cable that plugs our micro lab microphone into the camera itself and so we just decided not to film because audio is important so you know throughout this whole process and project sometimes that happens we forget a screw or we forget a little audio cable when i was driving home i was trying to think of like what we could put in instead of that mixer event because i wanted more substance to this episode so i was thinking what i would do is i would go on the whiteboard and i would plot out all the different ways that we are promoting this project because i think that you know if you're seeing this on facebook maybe that's the only place you see it or you watch it on youtube maybe that's the only place you see it the truth is you know there's like five or six different networks that we're doing different things on strategically you know you saw the snapchat this morning but that's not the only one so I want to talk about that however it is uh, almost 10 30 and people are sleeping in the house and so I want to be big and animated and explain why these things are awesome but I don't want to wake everyone up I want to respect 
everyone that's got to work tomorrow or sleeping, you know. So I am going to do that, I think, in tomorrow's episode because I think it's important to show you guys what we're doing on the back end of things. And we've also got some really new, exciting stuff. Sneak peek, actually. We have a brand new website, 90daystomoma.com, which I'm super excited about. Shout out to Nathan Ruff from 1-9 who whipped it out ridiculously fast uh, and it's exactly what I wanted so super happy with that so make sure to check out that give me any feedback that you have in the comments below besides that thank you so much for watching 